people you're welcome back to my youtube channel all right so if you're seeing my face for the very first time you are most welcome all right so are you actually suffering from stretch marks as the stretch marks been on your skin for so many years has it actually adapted to your skin like as it is it now having the same color with your skin Okay, that particular stretch mark that has the same color with your skin is actually a very old stretch mark. Okay, and are you looking for solution or are you wanting a rapid and very effective solution? This is your bus stop. Okay, this remedy I'm going to be showing you would help you so much in getting rid of stretch marks and don't you dare underestimate it because it works really well okay so if you want to know what it all comprises please do continue watching and please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the bell beside the subscribe button so when i upload a video you get the notification all right drop your curious question drop your curious questions on my website the link will be at my description box now let's dive into the video Alright guys, to get rid of stretch marks, we're going to be needing banana and for this banana, you don't have to laugh at my banana guys because I actually put it in the refrigerator for some days now and it's actually very very ripe so the peel is becoming black, okay? It's still very healthy and it's still very functional, okay? So in this banana, we're going to be needing just the banana peel guys, that's basically what we're going to be needing for um to get rid of stretch marks okay now first what we're going to do is to peel the oh god why am i peeling banana this way okay we're gonna be make we're gonna be okay peeling the banana yeah so i needed what we're going to do is to take the banana peel and scrape it okay so that's why you have to use a very ripe banana so you can have much of the stuff okay coming out when you scrape it like this okay so I'm gonna be taking this also then I'm gonna be scraping it okay so i'm gonna be putting that into this bowl basically that's what we're gonna be needing and then we're just we're gonna be making use of garlic okay gonna be making use of garlic all right so garlic helps in stimulating the skin therefore repairing the lost tissue and it would also help in replacing the skin elasticity okay take one of this and then you're just going to peel it okay when it is properly dry it's not going to be difficult to peel okay and perfect so we're just going to be making use of just one of this um, garlic glove, okay? And then we're going to be cutting it. And if you can, you can blend it. But of course, for this, I don't know how I I, I can't blend this particular just one glove because it's it's too small so i'm going to do it in the kitchen way i'm gonna cut it this way okay all right so if you can't do it this way guys you have to just blend it so i'm just going to be pressing it so it can be blended just like this If you're used to cooking, you're going to know the style, guys.
okay so this is how it is it's a little blended and now you're going to transfer that into the bowl we're going to be needing baking soda okay so you have to use baking soda to scrub out the dead skin cells and to restore the lost energy from the lost nutrients in the skin therefore replacing the skin elasticity and also remove then you're going to be putting in half tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda into that and then we're going to be needing castor oil now castor oil is one great oil that is very great in restoring the elasticity of the skin okay so it will help you balance up your skin pH level and it will also help for stretch marks Another thing which is going to be very important is the castor oil to add up. Okay, so we're going to be taking half teaspoon of that. Pour it into the mix. Okay, close that up. And now, so we're going to be stirring this all up to give us a very thick consistency basically we're going to be using this as a scrub to restore the skin elasticity okay all right guys so after you've done that then you can take this treatment apply it in any place you have stretch marks okay and then you scrub it okay scrub it really really well guys like really really well you scrub it very well if you have stretch mark on your back side you scrub it very very well okay scrub it very well and you have to scrub and make sure that the ing the ingredient which is this treatment is much on that place so you don't bruise your skin okay then you scrub very well up for like um three to four minutes then you can hold it on for a little while like another three to four minutes then you can wash it off okay wash it off with a normal water not necessarily hot water just a normal water will do the job okay all right guys so for this treatment you cannot if you can store it but what this is what is going to happen when you store it okay it's gonna go black it's actually because of the banana peel obviously when you keep banana peel for some time and alongside with the baking soda, the combination of banana peel and baking soda is going to make this thing go really dark. But it is very normal and very okay. Okay, if you can, if you can bear the fact that it's, it's black and still apply it, it's going to be no, it's going it's going to be okay. But you can store it in your refrigerator. It's not going to be that black, but it's still going to be dark. Okay, that's basically how it's going to turn. But it's still going to be very effective and very, very okay. okay. So that's what I have been using or, you know, I have used that a whole lot to get rid of stretch marks. And one thing I would have to tell you guys is that those kind of old stretch marks does not actually like go very quick on the skin. But nonetheless, it's actually going to go, but you have to be consistent and you have to be patient. And you have to always scrub it out okay so that's it if you did love the video please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and share the video also turn on the bell beside the subscribe button okay so you will be notified when i upload the video drop your questions on my website link will be at my comment section pinned down there all right follow me on instagram and i'll see you soon in my next video bye guys and stay beautiful Mwah.